Well, danger now, and the Grim Reaper is close at hand for the fearless Gladys in Moon and Sun. simply indicate change and that, but, oh my goodness, whatever's the matter, change can often be for the better, remember? He said he was doing it for me. Stupid woman. I think perhaps it's time that... I'm not mad. No, no, of course you're not. Now, I'll, I'll just call a nurse. No, I've remembered. I have to tell you all about it now, before it goes again. I think that's a very good idea. What do you want to tell me about? A murder. It's really very good of you to give us your time like this. That's my pleasure, really. Well, they're hardly the most rewarding clientele, I would have thought. Well, a little charity one day a month is good for my soul, Charles. Besides, there are other rewards. about Agnes' condition. I mean, is, is there any history of, of violence in her past? No, not that I'm aware of. Why? Well, she told me a rather worrying story today. Probably just for imagination. But you don't think it was? I'm really not sure. Am I a mysterious labyrinth, even to me, you know, despite my gift? Well, what did she tell you? Ah. Well, there we have a problem. Professional confidence, you see. Is that applicable here? I am her doctor. No, well, I think I need to do a little wrestling with my conscience. Well, I won't press you, of course. But I'm sure you appreciate with our residents here, it's important for us to note anything, shall we say, beyond the norm. Look, usually when I'm here, I just tell them what I think they want to hear. You know, money journeys, new friends. I mean, the great principles cannot be applied to the unbalanced mind. There's just too much confusion. But today there was... There was such a clarity of truth about Agnes Aura. Do you know what that is? No. It's a mystery to me. Is it good or bad? The pattern formed brings forth its fruits. The rot of crime seeps upwards through the roots. Self-righteous condemnation feeds the rot until the wrath of God destroys the lot. That kept turning up with Agnes today. 
need to give the matter some thought. Bear with me for a while. Of course. But if there is anything I should know... I'll think about it. Mr. George Milestone, please. Apparently. Thank you. Sponsored walk? No, I'm getting karmic distress signals. Why, run out of gin? You are such a comfort to me, Trevor. People come to me, I have an obligation. Why are your astral rhythms in a twist? Murder, that's why. Oh, I've got your attention now, have I? All right. What have you got yourself mixed up in? One of the old ladies at Weekly Grange has insisted on telling me about a murder. Are you serious? Wickley Grange? The place is full of nutters. I don't know why you waste your time up there. Correction. I do know why. You fancy Dr. Vincent. You are so unsubtle, Trevor. Come on, Gladys. You didn't believe her. They're all fruitcakes. Wealthy, maybe, stirring their tea with five quid notes. But just as gaga as people in other institutions. I'm not sure about this one. I do have some experience with the mental condition, don't forget. Maybe there has been a murder. When was it supposed to have happened? 20 years ago. Obviously leading the field. Oh, yes. He's done wonders for all kinds of people. If only he'd look after himself. He's terribly overworked. Ah, Dr. Vincent, how good to see you. I thought we might eat at my club. Uh, Brenda, try and keep us at bay until the morning. The good doctor and I have a rather fine Pomerol 86 craving our attention. Shall we? And how's the trip? First half, the yes. Well, I think it's very nice that she gives some of her time to the poor people. Poor they are not. It's a private home. Well, you know what I mean. I don't object to charity in principle. But in this case, she has other motives. You mean the handsome doctor? I do. You think Gladys believed the murder story? I don't know. She's not sure. But it's definitely got her edgy. Underworld closed down for the night, has it? No, but I have. Mine's a brandy. French measure. Um, has Gladys got in touch with you? No, why? She thinks she might have another case for you. Uh, could you make that a double, please? Ah, yes. Thank you. Decant it, will you? Yes, sir. Ah, tell me about this problem. It's probably harmless, but there's no way of knowing with Agnes. Agnes? Yes. Well, that's why I decided to come up to London. The special instructions clause on your files. Ah, yes. Quite right. Quite right. What I'm worried about is stirring up ghosts. Getting them to libel, maybe. Are you sure the old dear isn't just off her trolley? Everyone asks that. 
Well, I shouldn't wonder, given her address. Well, she seems a lot saner than some of my clients. Nope. What I need to know, Zelda, is do I tell Sergeant Evis or not? If it's serious. Well, if it's true, it's serious, all right. What do you think? Says you. Have you ever had any problem over, over somebody's secrets? Well, morally speaking, you mean? Well, I wouldn't want to get Agnes into trouble. I did have pangs of conscience once. Two years ago, this New Zealander rang my doorbell. He was in a terrible state. He just kidnapped his baby daughter from his estranged wife and he wanted advice about their future. So what did you do? That's what I didn't do. My instinct was to go to the police, but oh, I just thought it was none of my business. Well, this bloke escaped on the next ferry to France with the child. For all I know, they never came back. It was in all the papers. Probably gone to ground in Auckland or something. I mean, that's hardly your fault. No, but I felt ever so guilty. 